What's going on swim fans? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to swim backstroke. We're gonna walk through it step by step. So whether you're learning how to swim the stroke for the first time, or you're trying to master the stroke and swim faster and smarter than ever before, you've come to the right place. Make sure you watch this video until the very end because I'm gonna talk about your head position, body position, what your hands should be doing, how you catch the water, what your feet should be doing, how your body should be positioned in the water so you can swim as fast as possible. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and let me know down below in the comments what questions you have, and let's begin. All right, swim fans, we're gonna start with backstroke, and the first and most important thing, in my opinion, is your head position. When you're on your back, sometimes it's uncomfortable for a lot of people, but you gotta focus on keeping your eyes to the sky if you're at an outdoor pool like I am, or to the ceiling, and by focusing on keeping your eyes up and your head position in the right spot, it's gonna really elevate where your legs are because if you look down and your body starts to sink, you're gonna go a lot slower, it's gonna be a lot harder to swim backstroke. So make sure you keep a nice neutral head position, the water line on your back, on your head, to be in the middle of your head, meaning half your head is actually underneath the water, your eyes are looking up at the ceiling or at the sky, and then your belly button should also be above the surface of the water. So you wanna keep your entire body flat, and you're actually gonna have some rotation, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. Make sure your head is back and your hips are up and your belly button is high and out of the water. Now, similar to freestyle, you're gonna have a rotational momentum, meaning it's kinda of like a windmill. When one arm is up, the other arm is underneath the water. So one arm is pulling and one arm is recovering. And when you pull underneath the water, just like freestyle, you wanna have a high elbow catch, meaning you're bending your arm. So when your arm exits the water and you're in the recovery, it's actually gonna be with your thumb first. So your thumb exits the water, and then as you rotate, your pinky is gonna enter the water. And on the recovery, you want your arm absolutely straight above the water. So you enter the wa exit the water with your thumb first, arm is straight, and as you rotate, your pinky enters the water, and you want your pinky to enter the water at 11 and one, just like the arms on a clock. So you wanna enter just outside of your shoulder width, and as you're doing your backstroke stroke, the kick is a flutter kick. Just like freestyle, you're gonna have a continuous flutter motion, your toes are pointed, short, fast kick. Try and keep the amplitude of your kick less than half a meter, and don't bend your knees a lot. Really kick from your hips, your hip flexors, keep your legs pretty straight. And then with that rotation, it's gonna make your backstroke a lot easier to swim. Let's give it a shot. Similar to freestyle, backstroke is a long axis stroke. Your body rotates upon an axis that leads with your head and runs through your spine. Before we get into the stroke mechanics, it's important to note that backstroke is the best stroke to swim for recovery purposes. Swimming backstroke is great for your shoulders. It's not only good for your shoulders because it offers reverse rotation of freestyle, but also because your body position is 180% opposite to when you swim freestyle, breaststroke, and butterfly. Not only will swimming backstroke help keep your shoulders healthy, it will also improve your feel of the water. Swimming all of the different stroke variations will do this, but backstroke specifically will develop your lat strength and make it easier to improve your early vertical form catch in freestyle. Now that I've convinced you that swimming backstroke in every workout is a good idea, let's get into the stroke mechanics. And before we do that, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, AeroFit. The AeroFit Breathing Trainer helps you improve your breath efficiency, anaerobic threshold, and vital lung capacity, which will give you the edge that you need to swim faster in all four strokes and push your underwaters even further. You start with a guided vital lung capacity test in the AeroFit Sport app, and then you'll begin swimming specific training programs that only take about 10 minutes per day. After about four weeks of training with AeroFit, I was able to increase my vital lung capacity by over 25%. The app is super easy to use and it gives you real-time feedback. It really does feel like a video game using your breath control to make all the moves in the game happen. Head over to the link in the description below to get 15% off an AeroFit breathing trainer. This discount code is just for the MySwimPro community. I know you guys will love it, so make sure you check it out. And thanks again to AeroFit for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the swimming. The best backstrokers in the world can swim with a water bottle resting flat on their forehead, even during a race. If you haven't already tried this drill, I highly encourage it. The next time you're at the pool, grab a water bottle or a cup and fill it halfway full with water. 
rest it on your forehead, and slowly start kicking. Once you've found balance while you kick on your back, start adding in your arm strokes. Does the cup fall off your head? You don't have to be a world-class swimmer to master this drill. In fact, I think any swimmer can do a full 25 meters of backstroke with a cup halfway filled with water on their forehead. You'll be able to master this after just a few attempts if you're comfortable floating on your back first. When it comes to body position, just as in freestyle, when you swim backstroke, you rotate side to side with rotational momentum generated from your hips. You can swim backstroke completely flat, but it'll reduce the amount of water that you can pull and make you tired that much more quickly. In order to rotate more efficiently, you need to start with a neutral body position and drive the rotation with your lower body. Your hips drive the rotation and your upper body simply follows. You should aim to rotate up to 45 degrees on each side when you swim casual backstroke. The more you increase your tempo, meaning the faster you move your arms, then the less you're going to be able to rotate. The best swimmers are able to maintain an effective rotation while increasing tempo for different distances and effort levels in training. A great drill to work on this rotational momentum and also balance is called 3 strokes and 12 kicks. This is the same drill that we do in freestyle, but when you swim in backstroke, you're able to breathe the entire time because you're on your back. After taking three strokes, pause the rotation on your side for a full 12 kicks. This will teach you how to balance on your side. Then on the final kick, initiate rotation with your hips to start the next three arm strokes, focusing on rotation. When you do this drill, Focus on that rotation during all three of those strokes, and then on the 12 kicks, make sure you pause on your side. While you're on your side, keep your eyes looking up at the ceiling or the sky, maintaining a neutral head position. When you swim backstroke normally, you will not need to pause all the way on your side, but rather keep a continuous rotational momentum from side to side. You might not make it all the way onto your side, but that's okay because the goal of the drill is to just get your comfort level up and focus on rotation from side to side. The more you swim backstroke, the more natural this rotation will feel. Eventually, you'll be in a position where it'll be difficult to swim backstroke without having any rotation from side to side, simply because your body has just become used to moving forward with the help of rotational momentum. When you rotate on your back in backstroke, it also allows you to pull more water. Similar to freestyle, in initiating that early vertical forearm catch, you can pull the most water. I hope you enjoyed this backstroke tutorial. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you check out our other videos on how to swim breaststroke, how to swim butterfly, and how to swim freestyle. And if you haven't already checked out the My Swim Pro app, it's available for iOS and Android. We have technique drills, training plans for both in and out of the water as well. Oh, and make sure you check out the My Swim Pro Facebook group. We have over 10,000 members in there from all over the world with different skill levels and different goals. And you can be a part of it too. 100% free to join. I hope to see you in there. Take care and happy swimming. Bye.